The following program is sponsored by the Medicine Center Pharmacies. Good morning and welcome to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I'm your pharmacist, Paul White. We are glad you join us. Before we begin, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Mercy Medical Center and Studio Arts and Glass. And, of course, our technical producer today is John Bazika. Is that correct, John? It is. And in this, this morning in the studio with me is Brad White, a compounding pharmacist, and our very special guest, Serene Zawari Krasuna. Perfect. Dang. Isn't <laughs> Registered dietitian, coordinator of Mercy Weight Management. Good morning, Serene, and Good morning. welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me again. You're welcome. Well, here we go. Holiday weight gain is real. <laughs> Depending on what study you read, the average weight gain could be between 5 and 10 pounds. Hopefully that's not you, but if it is, now that we've enjoyed the holiday feast and lots of delicious mm-hmm. baked goods, we still have a New Year's parties and some other holiday gatherings to look forward to and maybe navigate. They may be fun, but these parties continue to offer delicious foods and drinks and extra calories. As we move closer to 2019, start off by setting your resolutions for healthier and happier living. We're going to look at how we can avoid those extra unwanted calories and talk about portion control and ways to get ready and healthy for the new year. We'd like to remind our listeners today that our program is also available on our podcast, which can be downloaded from the App Store of your favorite mobile phone. Look for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy, and you can listen to any of our programs anytime. If you have questions you'd like addressed today, you can post them up on our live Facebook feed, or you can give us a call today at 330-450-1480. So, Serene, tell us a little bit about yourself this morning. We talked a little bit this, this morning in the other room, and you've been on the show before. I have. It's always a joy to be back, too. So I'm the program coordinator and dietitian in the weight management department. So I meet with people who are interested in learning how to eat healthier, learning how to lose weight, any of that. I'm curious. person comes into the hospital for something else. Okay. Do you, is it routine for the hospital to consult with these people on their weight? We do have inpatient dietitians that will go and see someone. Um, a lot of times if they came in for a cardiac uh, issue, for example, the cardiologist may consult the dietitian to come do a diet education. I see. Mm-hmm. And we accomplished the what <laughs> in the hospital scene? <laughs> <laughs> well, the nice thing is that we give them handouts because we understand that there's always people that are coming in and into the room there's plenty of people asking questions and it may get overwhelming for a patient so we always provide them with handouts that way they can take that home and review that on a later date and then our numbers always provided too but you're not hanging over top i'm saying you got to lose some weight <laughs> <laughs> no we we, <laughs> we provide people with the resources and when they're ready to make the change we're available okay mm-hmm. so Tell us a little more about Mercy Weight Management and and the programs that you offer. So we do have nutrition counseling where someone will come in and meet one-on-one with a dietitian. They'll learn, like I said, kind of how to eat healthier if that's their goal. Usually their goal is to lose weight, learning how to eat more complex carbohydrates, more whole grains, more fruits compared to processed as well. And then also we do medically monitored weight loss programs how to incorporate meal replacements to help people lose weight if they have maybe 30 pounds, even 50 pounds or more to lose, we're there to help them. How much weight does the average person gain over the holiday season? Do we have that statistic? It's about a 10 pound weight gain and it takes about four months to get that weight off. Jeez. Yes, no that's the average. And a week to put it on. Exactly, (laughs) exactly. Four months. So it's easier to put it on and harder to take that off. That's what I hear all the time. Well, what's the really big um, uh, problem? Alcohol, sugar, cookies, you know? Larger portions. I see. Seems yes. like over-portioning is a big contributor to that weight so gain. So it's not sweets or alcohol or? What I hear in the office from people is the portions. I think sweets come, mm. come second and then alcohol is probably third into that. So we eat more and we, we eat larger portions j- just because it's put before us. I exactly, guess. Is that, is that exactly, deal? correct. Okay. And then we're so focused on things around us, we're not paying attention to, or what are we eating? Or am I feeling full? Is this good? 
I mean, there have been times where people will come in and they say, I ate that, but I don't know how that tasted. So it's we're not being mindful. Are we really enjoying our holiday so, meal? So at any party, we circle the table and just sample everything and, mm-hmm. and just continue eating and continue drinking, yeah, and, I guess. Yeah, huh? and really ask yourself, how did that taste? Because if you say, oh, I, didn't, I don't even remember how that tasted, hmm. well, then you probably weren't being mindful about what you were eating, and that tends to lead to overeating. Jeez, I usually remember what I what it tasted like. <laughs> okay. okay. So this is interesting. How many calories can an average Christmas meal amount to? So that all depends on portions. So you can easily okay, consume so let's, let's let's talk about the item. Turkey. Okay. Mashed potatoes. So turkey's pretty dressing. good. Pretty lean. Okay. Mashed potatoes. So potatoes itself, just the mashed potatoes itself is about 80 calories for half of a cup. And so mm-hmm. usually when we get a nice big scoop... But you put the water in the gravy. Exactly, you know. exactly. And that's without the, the toppings you put on <laughs> top. <laughs> that's just the like plain mashed potatoes. So you're looking at 80 calories for half a cup. How often is it that we portion out only half of a cup, though? That's what we want to kind of pay attention to. So if we portion out half a cup, yeah, that's, that's wonderful. That's exactly. Very That's very not very much. That's <laughs> okay. about the size of a light bulb. They typically say yeah, is half a small cup. light bulb. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So wow. it's easy to get extra calories that way. Where if we have more turkey, that's protein. It's more lean. Yeah. Tur- it's okay if we have a little a, bit not, more. Not, not a fatty. Uh, it is not. It's yeah, actually really one of the way, best. Any part of it, right? Correct. It's just if you have anything that sometimes we we cook it. If we have extra skin, we want to pull that yeah, off. Yeah. Sure. Because that's okay. where all the fat is going to be located. And what about the people who cook their turkey in the... The deep fryer? The deep fryer. <laughs> <laughs> no comment? Is that what I should say? That's bad, huh? <laughs> yes, that's not a great alternative. We, we use peanut oil? Is that what we use in those things? Typically when you fry, you're using peanut oil, yes. And that is bad for us, good for us? It's not, it's not awful. I mean, olive oil, things like that are going to be the best okay. alternatives. We can cook it in, in, in olive, mm-hmm. olive oil. Yep. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but your Christmas meal can easily add quite a few hundred extra calories if you're not dressing, paying attention. Dressing. Um, gravy is a big gravy. one. It's going to have a lot of fat. Um, the desserts, the pie yeah, with the sure. whipped cream on top. That's we don't all get pie. Nobody up. in my family likes pie but me, so we don't have pie. Well, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's excellent. Less calories. It's really depressing. <laughs> you know, what's better than pumpkin pie or cherry pie? Or... <laughs> your health, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So you mentioned a couple things. What about uh, some substitutions we could make in our cooking to make our holiday dinners a little healthier? So this is my favorite with holiday cooking and holiday baking, the substitutions. So we had mentioned olive oil. So that's great in place of butter when you're cooking. Um, Even when you're sauteing stuff on the stove, olive oil is really good in place of butter. And the correct serving size. So no matter if you're using butter, olive oil, uh, margarine, the serving size is a teaspoon. So sticking to that, which is a very small amount. Okay, we've got all kinds of olive oils. Yes, um, I forget what they call it first. Extra, virgin, extra virgin, yeah, extra virgin. all that stuff. Any difference in that? I always like to say extra virgin's best, but olive oil's olive oil. I'll yeah. take that. If someone's saying I'm going to use olive oil over butter, I'm taking olive oil. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Even if you have something like, if you're doing some holiday cooking, if you're going to make chicken versus beef or if you're going to have beef that's okay but if you're going to do 96 percent lean that's a much better alternative to 80 percent okay so things like that so small changes that are really going to add up over time okay well it's interesting i just I often think about that christmas dinner is really non-toxic okay but but everything around it uh, mm-hmm. you, you know what else do we have dressing um, well, you've got some kind stuffing. of vegetable. We had vegetable. Yeah, green beans. Green beans. Um, mm-hmm. Brussels sprouts. Cranberries. Yeah. A Brussels of, sprouts was the big one this year. Was it really? Mm-hmm. Was it a lot, a lot of, of the lot of holiday don't. recipes roasting Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I don't like them that way. I don't like them steamed. It's just, yeah. Oven. Either way, they're delicious. They're good yeah. for you. <laughs> There's a lot of people who don't like them. I just can't get over that. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. First breaks here. Listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. 
You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. Hi, this is Brad White, your Medicine Center Pharmacist. Are you paying big bucks for a little blue Viagra pill? There's a better alternative. Starting at only $4 per dose with a prescription from your doctor, the Medicine Center Pharmacy can prepare a Sildenafil or Tedenafil tablet that melts in your mouth for an affordable price. This allows you to take care of business and still have money left over for dinner and a movie. The Medicine Center Pharmacy has four locations in Stark and Tuscarawas counties. We're here to keep you healthy and save you money. Give us a call at 330-339-4466 for more information. With a heart attack, every second counts. Every moment the blood supply to your heart is cut off or reduced leads to heart damage or death. Mercy Medical Center can stop a heart attack in record time. Mercy is the only hospital in the nation that can open a blocked artery right in the ER just minutes after arrival, saving lives and preventing further heart muscle damage. That's because Mercy's Emergency Chest Pain Center was America's first to achieve full accreditation and the first to install a fully functional cardiac catheterization lab just a few steps away from our ER doors. The average time in the U.S. from ER arrival to opening of a blocked heart artery is 64 minutes. At Mercy, thanks to our ER cath lab and the area's most experienced emergency heart care team, it's faster. We're capable of opening a blocked artery in as little as five minutes. If you have heart attack symptoms, get to Mercy. We can stop a heart attack in record time. To learn more, visit cantonmercy.org slash heart. Brighten your day with beautiful stained glass from Studio Arts and Glass. Let the sun shine in through a stunning beveled glass window that forms a rainbow on your walls. Commission a piece of art to cherish for years. All at Studio Arts and Glass on Apple Grove and 77 in North Canton. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, or shop online at studioartsandglass.com. That's studioartsandglass.com. The holiday season is in full force. We've extended our most recent sale so you can save big at the Half Off and Hot Buy store in Louisville. All Christmas merchandise is discounted an extra 50% off the already reduced prices. Plus, save an additional 50% off trees and an extra 30% off all toys. Buy one 25-pound bag of sidewalk salt and get the second bag free. Christmas cards are 10 for a dollar. Yes, that's just 10 cents each. These are just some of the deals at the Half Off and Hot Buy store in Louisville, so come in and get them before they're gone. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for pictures or visit halfoffhotbuy.com. Welcome back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Today we're talking about healthy eating this holiday season with registered dietitian Serene Zerwari Krashuna from Mercy Medical Center. Have a question, post it on our live Facebook feed. All right. Well, it's probably good we're talking about some of this stuff after Christmas or else we'd be off some Christmas lists of people. Um, So let's talk about Christmas cookies. Uh, Serene, how many calories and how much sugar are in cookies like chocolate chips or the frosted sugar cookies or the peanut butter blossoms, which are my favorite? (laughs) So it can range. It can be anywhere between 80 calories to 300 calories. When you start to add that frosting on top, that's going to add calories. It's going to add sugar. So... If you go to the store and you get those regular size sugar cookies that have frosting on top, you're looking at an extra 16 grams of sugar that way. Yes, so 16 grams just added sugar. That's not even natural. What's, a, what's a teaspoon? How much calories in a teaspoon of sugar? I'm not sure. Is it? I mean, I, the, the, one number, the one number too I much. know is that there's 12 teaspoons of sugar in a can of Coke. Yeah, and, oh, yeah. And I think, oh, my gosh, I can't be. Mm-hmm. And you're looking at 40-some grams of sugar for yeah. a can of Coke that it way. It cannot be that way. Gee, it's amazing. Mm. Yeah. yeah. How, how, so, about, uh, how about festive holiday drinks? Mm. I mean, they got <laughs> I know they all call it self. Yes. And then we throw the sugar, we throw the sweetener, we throw all the other mm-hmm. stuff and the fruit and... Yeah, so if you can get something where you're using a alternative to like a sugary beverage, which now on the market it's so wonderful because you have so many alternatives out there. So you could do a, um, like they have these, I, wanna call, I think they're called Simply 
sugared, so they are some good alternatives that you can add in with wine, for example, to flavor your drink, but it's not going to have all the extra sugar, all the extra calories that way. Um, you can also do extracts. So, for example, eggnog, right? You could do an extract and make your own eggnog at home, and that way you're not getting all that cream and all the the added calories. But you got to put fat. brandy and you got to put whiskey into, into the, with the eggnog too. So what's that, what's that do to it? <laughs> It's just going to add calories that way, yeah. But there are some good alternatives even to eggnog. You can even buy them at the store. You can get a soy-based eggnog. Um, That's good for someone that is allergic to dairy or can't have any of that dairy. But typically it's going to have the lower um, calories, lower fat in it that way as well. I've never seen that. I guess I'll take a look. Yeah, they even have a lactose-free eggnog now. So there's so many different is, alternatives. So what is it, colored water? Is that what? <laughs> they put all these colorings in there, so it all it looks like regular eggnog to you, but it may taste a little bit different compared to hmm. having a full cream so, and all so that. So the eggnog itself, the, the, the full blown whatever, is heavy in fat, oh, calories, yes. yep. all that sort of thing. Yes. Even you're if looking eat, at, I mean, it, it could be anywhere up to 400 calories per glass. That's just one glass. Even if we used uh, like low-fat milk or, or something like that? Mm-hmm. If you're doing all that heavy cream in there, yes. Mm. So if you make it yourself and you put these alternatives in there, so you do that extract that I had mentioned, you're going to add, you're not going to add as many calories, as much fat in there. But it wouldn't taste as good. It but your taste buds it, will right? adjust. <laughs> yes, your taste yes. buds will adjust a little bit. Your heart may thank you, too. <laughs> I haven't heard that yet. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what about um, other things that we consume during the holiday season? We talked about cookies. We talked about, you know, there are women, ladies, gentlemen out there who, who are just supreme bakers. Mm-hmm. And whenever you go to their house or, or, or whatever, the, you, you look at that table and you think, oh, my gosh, I'd like to have every one, every one yeah. of those. And, yeah, and it's the time of year, too. Yeah. You only get it that time of year. <laughs> Are you a baker? A little bit. A little bit. I don't know. When you go to the supermarket, it looks awful good in the back end. There were all the cookies and all the... It does. It does. But, you know, there are some good tips and tricks of what you could do to substitute to make your baking healthier. My favorite is applesauce. You can use applesauce in place of oil, sugar, and eggs. So I wouldn't do it in place of all three in one recipe if the recipe calls for it, because then you probably will just have applesauce and flour. <laughs> but you can replace it in different recipes that way. And I actually baked a cake with applesauce, and I cannot tell you how delicious and how mm. moist it was. I make okay. pancakes with uh, applesauce instead of oil because mm-hmm. it works nice. And I guess I think of applesauce yeah. as being full of sugar. <clears throat> no? Well, you can get the unsweetened one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you can get unsweetened applesauce. But I mean, you can do you can mash banana in place of oil as well. So if you don't have those things on hand, but you have a banana, you can mash that up. You can actually even make pancakes with bananas as well. Yeah. Um, you can do egg whites in place of whole eggs, and even avocados in place of butter because it's still giving you that fat that you need in the item when you're baking it. Yeah. But it's going to be a much better alternative to that. And even plain Greek yogurt you can do in place of sour cream. So if you're making a dip. Use that plain Greek yogurt. And you can add, I mean, different flavorings to it so that way it tastes the same. But you're starting off with a significant amount less fat that way. Hmm. I never thought all that stuff. Why yogurt? Why would that... Uh, As a good alternative? Is it lower? See, I, don't, I like it, okay. Mm-hmm. But I, I guess I think it's got sugar in it, no? Well, if you're doing the plain Greek yogurt, it's not going to have any sugar because it's not going to be flavored with anything. So all the other brands that have fruit in it and Correct. that sort of we will, thing. Yeah, we want to do the plain one, and then if we add our own fruit, we typically are saving ourselves sugar and calories that way. I see. Yeah. Huh. But if we do that plain Greek yogurt, we can do that in place of a lot of dips, which is nice because it still has the same texture and consistency as dip, hmm. but you're not getting, like I said, all that fat. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. All right, how do we squeeze in a little bit more exercise? You know, today we've got some <laughs> rain out there. Some days it's like bitter cold. So if you're an outside person, that can be a challenge. Yes. What can we do? Yes. Make it fun and make it exciting at home. So if you have kids, turn on some music and dance. Something as fun and as simple as that, you're going to entertain your kids, wear them out a little bit so they'll take a nap take for a nap. you. There you go. <laughs> and, and the neighbors are looking in the window of your kids. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you're dancing around in front of the window. Yeah, so something just as simple <laughs> as that. I mean, some people have the video game, so you can do the Nintendo Wii, which is nice because there's a lot of different activities you could do. You could do tennis, so you're doing a lot of arm exercises. You can even do dance battles that way. You can do golf. There's so many different things now with the video games at home, so it makes it more convenient. Very interesting. Yeah, even hula hooping indoors, jump roping indoors. Hula hoops. Yeah, but there's all this, those exercise videos, you know too. How big they so were. you're saying that exercise doesn't have to be going to the gym. <laughs> correct. Is what you're getting at, correct. which is, I think, a good takeaway. Yes, correct. Just, I mean, get 30 minutes in a day if you can. Hmm. Great, great way to, to get your heart rate up, to lose weight, to feel better, to release those good endorphins in your body that helps you feel better as well. Just don't, don't go full exercise right before bed because then you're going to be up for hours with all this energy. I can't see getting up at 4 a.m. though. To... You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Just after work, when you're home, uh, yes. running around with the kids, if you want them to get to bed sooner, maybe do some, some dancing, some hula hooping, get some of that energy out. I live in a neighborhood that has really wide streets, no sidewalks, really wide streets. Mm -hmm. And it really is a, an ex, sort of an exercise neighborhood, if you will, because it's sort of safe. Mm -hmm. uh, because the streets are are wide, and we, I just I see all kinds of people out running every morning, and uh, like three and four o'clock in the morning. I never am up that that early, but once or twice for whatever reason. You look outside the window, and like, people are running around the running around the neighborhood at six, seven o'clock in the morning. It's yes. nuts. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I just can't see getting up that early. I guess it's bottom of the hour. Time for the news. Listen to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. Medicine Center Pharmacy was named the 2018 Best of the Best Pharmacy. We'd like to thank our customers and our staff for the honor. Our 13 pharmacists in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia help keep you healthy and save money. From free kids' vitamins to compounded prescriptions and affordable diabetes care. Ask how we can help. And don't forget, we have free screenings at our pharmacies on Tuesdays. Call 330-454-8772 for more information or visit MedShopRx.com. MedShopRx.com. The holiday season is in full force. We've extended our most recent sale so you can save big at the Half Off and Hot Buy store in Louisville. All Christmas merchandise is discounted an extra 50% off the already reduced prices. Plus save an additional 50% off trees and an extra 30% off all toys. Buy one 25-pound bag of sidewalk salt and get the second bag free. Christmas cards are 10 for a dollar. Yes, that's just 10 cents each. These are just some of the deals at the Half Off and Hot Buy store in Louisville. So come in and get them before they're gone. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for pictures or visit halfoffhotbuy.com. Brighten your day with beautiful stained glass from Studio Arts and Glass. Let the sun shine in through a stunning beveled glass window that forms a rainbow on your walls. Commission a piece of art to cherish for years. All at Studio Arts and Glass on Apple Grove and 77 in North Canton. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, or shop online at studioartsandglass.com. That's studioartsandglass.com. Hi, this is Brad White, your Medicine Center Pharmacist. Are you paying big bucks for a little blue Viagra pill? There's a better alternative. Starting at only $4 per dose with a prescription from your doctor, the Medicine Center Pharmacy can prepare a Sildenafil or Tedenafil tablet that melts in your mouth for an affordable price. This allows you to take care of business and still have money left over for dinner and a movie. The Medicine Center Pharmacy has four locations in Stark and Tuscarawas counties. We're here to keep you healthy and save you money. Give us a call at 330-339-4466 for more information. Welcome back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I'm your pharmacist, Paul White. Today we're talking about healthy eating with registered dietitian Serene Zawari Karsuna from Mercy Medical Center. Got a lot more to cover this morning, so let's get back to the show. Where are we at? All right, well, before the break, we were talking about how to squeeze in some more exercise, and mm -hmm. uh, you gave us some tips on how to do that without going to the gym, which mm -hmm. I think is a good plan. 
Um, what about um, you said something earlier in the program about maybe being more mindful of how you snack when you're at a party or what you eat mm-hmm. or how big your portion sizes are and all I can think of are all those TV shows and our parents who are like clean your plate and finish yes, everything we serve you. Yes. So <laughs> uh, how about how do we change our mindset with maybe even when you go out to a restaurant and they serve you this giant plate mm-hmm. you know you don't have to eat it all you can exactly. take it home right you're right so it's always a great idea to ask for a to-go box right when they bring in your food to you hmm. because yeah. that's a given way to box up half your meal at least and not have to worry about it because before sometimes you start to eat. before you even start to eat because sometimes yeah. when we're talking we're chatting we're really into the conversation we're excited we're enjoying our time yeah. We don't realize that we just consumed our whole plate. It takes about 20 minutes for us to realize that we're full. And so in that 20 minutes, you can consume quite a few calories before you realize that you are really full. So if you get half of it at least out of the way, you're guaranteed that you only are eating half that calories, which now when you go to a restaurant, they have the calorie content and it's a little scary when you look at that. So if you order from like the healthier fare menus, you're probably not going to take home any leftovers because usually it's going to be like maybe a piece of chicken with a side of um, broccoli and they'll give you a carb, but they'll give you a smaller size carb, which is going to be closer to that half a cup of mashed potatoes that we talked about. So how about this? Um, I know it differs for different age type, height, weight, and, and maybe health condition, but what's a garden variety caloric intake goal for someone on a given basis for an adult say okay and where i'm going is is i'm thinking about a restaurant recently we visited with their numbers on their menu and if yes. you had an italian pasta dish it was like 1300 calories and yes. i'm thinking that's most of your caloric intake for the day yes you are correct <laughs> so someone like me to probably maintain my weight we're probably looking about 13 1400 calories there um that day yes so one meal it's gonna take me at my calorie level. Yeah. So that's why I like to order off of the healthier fare alternatives. But if you're looking at, say you are looking at losing um, 10 pounds, for example, okay? So if you cut back 500 calories a day for a whole week, that's equivalent to one pound, okay? 500 calories a week. A day, a day. 500 calories okay. a day over the course of one week, okay. that's equivalent to one pound. So what about what about the daily three meals? Okay, mm-hmm. breakfast, cereal, low-fat milk, piece of toast, good bed. It's okay. So cereal, you want to be careful. You want to make sure you stick with the serving size. Usually it's about three-fourths of a cup for, okay. for example, Cheerios, corn flakes. That's okay. not bad. Low-fat milk, not bad as well. Okay. You don't necessarily need a toad, a slice of toast, but maybe have some fruit on top of that cereal. So slice up half a banana, okay. slice up a few strawberries, put that on there, and that would be a good alternative. Okay. Yeah, you could do eggs if you don't have time to cook eggs. They have really cool things nowadays where it says all you have to do is add an egg and it has all these vegetables for you and some of them have some meat, so you have to be cautious with that. But it comes in a pouch and you just add an egg to it, pop it in the microwave, and there's your breakfast to go. Hmm. But even sure. smoothies are good alternatives for breakfast, too. So we cut out white bread for mm-hmm. toast, lunch, all that sort of thing. What's what's the bread options? What about an English muffin? English muffin's not bad if you get the whole grain version. Okay. So any breads you want to do, you want to do whole grain because it's more complex. So it takes your body longer to digest. It's not going to spike your blood sugar and then drop it. And that's when we start to feel hungry so, so we have that you, drop. When you say whole grain... Uh, rye, pumpernickel, where's all the breads fit into this pattern? So whole grain, you're going to start to see more of that in the grocery stores nowadays. So they do have, they're going to have a whole grain white. Um, So there's a kind, Dave's Killer Bread, I don't know if you've ever heard of that. They have a whole grain white alternative. So you're going to be able to still enjoy those, but they're going to be made from whole grain. They may taste slightly different, but they're going to be much better for you. And nowadays when they're making these items whole grain, they actually taste good. I don't know if you remember when the wheat pasta first came out. It had a little bit of a funky taste to it. But over the years, they have kind of perfected those things. They've made whole grain pasta, and it tastes just like regular pasta. But it's so much more healthier for you. Okay. 
So what if you take alcohol out of your diet completely, mm-hmm. okay? That's wonderful. Do we have statistics on, on okay, people go out for dinner, you know, maybe mm-hmm. they'll have a drink mm-hmm. before dinner and then a glass of wine with dinner and maybe another glass of wine with mm-hmm. dinner, you know? What are, do we have any statistics on what happens if you cut alcohol totally out of your diet? You'll lose weight if you typically consume alcohol. That's the thing. If you typically consume alcohol... But if you're just a, a light drinker, it's not going to make any difference. If you have one here or there... It may not make a difference, but that's if you, depending on what you drink. If you have, if you go out and you have a sangria, well, you're having a lot of sugar yeah. that way. So that's going to make a difference if you avoid that completely. Yes. Okay. So I used to go out to dinner and I would have a drink before dinner. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then maybe a glass of wine during dinner. Mm-hmm. I'll totally cut that out. That's wonderful. Is it good? That's excellent. Am I going to lose any weight? If that was what but you would I, typically I didn't, do, I, yes. I never was an excessive drinker. Okay. I mean, mm-hmm. Maybe one or two, like I just said. Mm hmm. <clears throat> No? But yeah, you can lose weight that way. Okay. Yeah, and so it all depends too on what you what you eat. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> okay. You are correct, and how much salt is in your food. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Because mm-hmm, the right. salt will retain the fluid, makes you feel like you gained weight, makes you feel bloated. Hmm. Yeah. I don't even know where we're at. We're so far. <laughs> we're so well, far we were talking. <laughs> well, that's okay. We're talking about mindset. So, uh, how about um, how about water consumption? Mm-hmm. Um. One of my favorite things is people say, I hate water. I'm like, yeah, well, yeah, everything you drink in. has water in it. So You're right. Everything you it. eat typically has water in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so how, what, what's um, a good recommendation for hydration? And if you could also comment, since we're a pharmacy show, you know, people that take a water pill to prevent water retention sometimes yes. don't drink enough water because yes. they're worried they're going to retain it. So mm-hmm. how about you talk but about that? But you need to stay too? hydrated because you're pulling off a lot of fluid. So it's best when you go to your doctor to ask them and kind of talk to them about that topic because it's really important. But if you are taking a water pill, you do want to stay hydrated, definitely. So the average recommendation for a person is 64 ounces of water a day. That's the average. Two quarts. Mm -hmm. So they say eight glasses. Sometimes when we say eight glasses, that totals 64. But sometimes when we say eight glasses, it kind of gets a little bit intimidating. Mm -hmm. So we say 64 ounces. Now, if you have a hard time getting that in, sometimes if you get a fun water bottle, that really helps. And sometimes if you add those water flavorings to your water, that can help too. But you want to make sure you don't add anything that's full of sugar to your water. That's a big thing. So those are going to be kind of some, some easy ways. Adding a slice of lemon to your water. They also have those water bottle infusers. So you can add in fruit. You can add in lemon, lime, mint. And then you pour in water on top of it. And they have ones where the, the items won't separate out into your water. So you'll still kind of get that flavoring, but you won't get all those, um, those pulps and things like that if that's not what you want. What about the flavored waters? Is there sugar in the flavored water? No. If you get the ones that don't have sugar in them, no. Mm-mm. Okay. It'll just be plain with just flavorings. It'll say either natural flavoring or flavoring on the, the nutrient list. Okay. Yeah, so they nowadays these food companies have made eating so so convenient, eating healthy. You can go to the grocery store, you can get frozen rice cauliflower, which is a new trend now. You can get frozen um, spiralized zucchini noodles, butternut squash spiralized, beets even spiralized. And all you have to do is pop that in the microwave. It tri- must be a real trip to go to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> I take a long time. <laughs> Do you read every package? I typically do, yes. My husband gets annoyed because we're in the grocery store for a while going up and down the aisles. <laughs> well, you know, recently at a convention I had um, I had cauliflower-based pizza. Yes, um, they sell that I at the grocery tell, store. I, I defy you to tell the difference if it's done right. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, And you can buy it. I mean, it's amazing. And yeah. you can buy the cauliflower crust at the grocery store. It's frozen, already ready to go. So it's wonderful. It's convenient. Okay. Our final break is here. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X dot com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment.
With a heart attack, every second counts. Every moment the blood supply to your heart is cut off or reduced leads to heart damage or death. Mercy Medical Center can stop a heart attack in record time. Mercy is the only hospital in the nation that can open a blocked artery right in the ER just minutes after arrival, saving lives and preventing further heart muscle damage. That's because Mercy's Emergency Chest Pain Center was America's first to achieve full accreditation and the first to install a fully functional cardiac catheterization lab just a few steps away from our ER doors. The average time in the U.S. from ER arrival to opening of a blocked heart artery is 64 minutes. At Mercy, thanks to our ER cath lab and the area's most experienced emergency heart care team, it's faster. We're capable of opening a blocked artery in as little as five minutes. If you have heart attack symptoms, get to Mercy. We can stop a heart attack in record time. To learn more, visit cantonmercy.org slash heart. The warmer weather is here. Hi, this is Brad White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Perhaps you've gotten the urge to venture outside and clean up the garage or do some yard work, resulting in muscle aches and pains. If you have sore muscles or aching joints, you may want to consider a prescription pain-relieving cream available with a prescription at the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Our pharmacists can work with you and your physician to get topical pain creams that can be rubbed directly on the source, reducing inflammation and pain. Topical creams avoid troublesome side effects and dependency issues that can be caused by oral medications. The Medicine Center Pharmacy has an accredited compounding laboratory, and it is your source for custom medications. Custom compounded pain relieving creams, available only at the Medicine Center Pharmacy, where wellness begins. Visit us at MedShopRx.com for the pharmacy nearest you. That's MedShopRx.com. The holiday season is in full force. We've extended our most recent sale so you can save big at the Half Off and Hot Buy store in Louisville. All Christmas merchandise is discounted an extra 50% off the already reduced prices. Plus save an additional 50% off trees and an extra 30% off all toys. Buy one 25-pound bag of sidewalk salt and get the second bag free. Christmas cards are 10 for a dollar. Yes, that's just 10 cents each. These are just some of the deals at the Half Off and Hot Buy store in Louisville. So come in and get them before they're gone. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for pictures or visit halfoffhotbuy.com. Welcome back to Health Matters at the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I'm your pharmacist, Paul White. Today we're discussing healthy eating with registered dietitian Serene Zawari Krishuna, and we're actually having a better off off microphone conversation <laughs> <laughs> during the program, I think, from Mercy Medical Center. Let's get back to the last segment of the show. <laughs> well, why don't we talk about that? So you were just giving us some tips. You know, I don't know. We haven't we haven't talked about uh, how to shop at the grocery store yet, but maybe mm-hmm. you could touch on that. Um, I've always been told it's better to shop the perimeter than the middle because in the middle is all the processed frozen stuff that mm-hmm. may be questionable. Yes. But how do we, how about reading containers and if you could impart wisdom for people to make better selections at the grocery mm-hmm. store today, what would be your number one tip to make it easier? Definitely read labels, but you're right about shopping the parameter. Now, they've altered grocery stores a little bit. So I know the grocery store I typically shop at, the parameter, the first part of the parameter is more of the ready-to-go foods if you're looking to pick up some food for your family, and then also desserts on one side. So that kind of makes it a little bit tricky. What you want to do, though, is kind of stick to your basics. So stick to your protein, stick to your vegetables, and stick to your kind of healthy carbs, your milk, things like that, your yogurts, eggs. All of that's going to be in most of the parameter of the grocery store. Yogurt, now, yogurt is, is healthy. Yes, yogurt is healthy. But when you start to add all that sugar and that syrup in it, okay. that's when it right, ends you go up being... Grocery store. You got this entire wall of yogurts. Yes, okay. it gets intimidating that uh, way. I can't handle the Greek yogurt. Okay. That's okay. But the other stuff is okay. Right. Yeah. But go for more of a plain yogurt, and then if you want it to be flavored, add your own fruit to it. What's wrong with the fruit in the yogurt? Typically, it's going to have more sugar in it. Okay. So to they keep it preserved. It, they sweeten it, they yes. it before they put it in. Yes. They're not adding just sugar. They're adding sugar and possibly oh. syrup to it to keep the fruit that shape. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Gee, I really like those yogurts with that fruit. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. It All adds right. a lot. But, you know, the nice thing is that 
like kind of had like I had mentioned the grocery stores are are really helping us out so it's no longer that we can't shop in the middles anymore because they're gonna have the less healthy alternatives because if you go to the freezer section kind of like I had I had mentioned that you can get these rice cauliflowers you can get spiralized noodles zucchini noodles butternut squash noodles beets noodles so that's going to be in the freezer section mm. you can get the cauliflower crust for pizza kind of like we had mentioned Brad so there are some good alternatives when you're shopping in the grocery store it's just kind of being aware of that and being on the lookout for it but never go to the grocery store hungry that's the biggest mistake you could ever make so if you take one thing from me do not go to the grocery store hungry. I've You're, done that before. <laughs> yes, I have done that before, and it, it's not fun because everything sounds appealing and everything looks appealing. Yeah. So you're not going to choose the the better alternatives. I hate. We're getting close on time. What about diet sodas? Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, they're saying to us that uh, they're good. Then they're saying, well, they make you gain weight. Mm -hmm. What's the story here? So if you have diabetes. Diet soda, if you're going to drink soda, is the better alternative because it's not going to fluctuate your blood sugar. And if you don't have diabetes, I, as a dietitian, do not recommend diet sodas. The reason I don't is because people tend to overconsume diet sodas because it's diet and they know that they can have more. Okay. okay? That, all this research is coming out now that's showing when we overconsume diet sodas, we're gaining weight our body has a hard time processing those sugar alternatives. So a lot of times it's still gonna go through that metabolic pathway of the sugar to digest the sugar. And so we're trying to absorb, trying to absorb all this as sugar, we're over consuming it, we're over consuming that sugar alternative. So what about stevia, the so-called natural? Stevia is actually a very good alternative. It's more plant-based, that's the nice thing, it's coming yeah. from a plant. So it's a good alternative compared to these And it's not caloric, isn't it? Is that right mm -hmm. or not? Okay. It's what? It's non-caloric, so yeah, it's okay. not in it's not in theory raising blood sugar. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is is it difficult to digest like the other sweeteners? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Nope, because it's more plant-based. Okay. Interesting. Yep. I, I noticed that the, the beverage manufacturers seem to be resistant to uh, to moving their diet drinks o over to stevia. Yes. Now, some of them I have. I think it costs more money. Than, well, I'm sure it does. Yeah. I'm sure it does, as opposed to the chemical, the sucrilla or whatever it's called these mm -hmm. days. The aspartame, <clears throat> sucralose. Yeah, aspartame. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you talk to people, it's amazing because some people say they cannot handle those sugar alternatives, those sweeteners. And so it makes you think kind of what, what is in that? Like I know I can't consume anything that has any sugar alternative to it because I get massive headaches. No kidding. Yeah, I've heard people have seizures. I mean, it's, wow. it's a big spectrum. People get migraines. That's a very common thing is these migraines. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I still see on the tables in some of the restaurants saccharin, and I'm thinking to myself, oh. the worst tasting. It is. <laughs> the worst, it is. The worst tasting sugar substitute out there. Yeah. But they, they still are using it. And it's still on the table. It's hard to break those habits, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. So. Yep, it's hard to break those habits. Well, we got it. we're pretty short on time here, so we got to knock out some more stuff. Um um okay we're off work i'm not off work but a lot of people are off work during this <laughs> season okay um maybe a week or two um they're consuming a lot of stuff that they don't wouldn't normally consume in the mm -hmm. it's very easy to do that how do we stay away from the refrigerator how do we stay away from the cupboard stay how out of we... the kitchen that's going to be the biggest thing stay out of the biggest kitchen, thing huh? yes stay out of the kitchen because when we're at work, for example, we're busy, our mind is going, we, we have all these projects, we're responding to emails, we're not thinking about food all the time. But if you're home and you're in the kitchen, you're gonna be thinking about food constantly. So stay out of the kitchen, save it more towards those meal times. So get up in the morning, have some coffee, make your breakfast, maybe prepare some snacks at that time. That way, when you're hungry and you wanna go into the kitchen, grab some snacks and then go on and do other activities. Okay, how about some healthy snacks? Fruit is wonderful, vegetables are wonderful, so taking a pear and slicing it up, taking a pineapple even ahead of time and then portioning that out, that way you have that ready to go. Taking peppers, slicing that up, you can even make a dip out of the Greek yogurt, kind of like we had mentioned earlier, instead of all those higher calorie, higher fat dips that, that are um, at the store. You can have some powdered peanut butter. I don't know if anyone's tried that. 
it is a great alternative never, to I've peanut butter. It. It's I'll... at the it's almost at every grocery store. It's on the same shelves as peanut butter. It looks just like a jar of peanut butter, so it's very hard to kind of decipher at first. But you can get this powdered peanut butter. You add water to it when you're ready to have it. You mix it up, so if you want it to be more thick, you add less water. And you can dip your apple slices in there. You can dip some celery in there. It takes out 14 and a half grams of fat. So how's it taste? Amazing. Hmm. Amazing. Jeez, I'm going to have to go to the grocery store today. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Check this stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, neat. Yeah. Uh, gee. Yeah, um, I mean, they're making it so convenient nowadays to eat healthy. Hmm. So that's... That's a plus. That's a benefit for us. Okay, we're going out to dinner tonight, okay? Is it mm -hmm. okay to save calories all day long? And you then, don't? And then pound them in on a dinner at night? or So you don't want to save all your calories. You can, though, have a healthier breakfast, healthier lunch, okay. and have a little bit more calories at dinner if you know you're going to go out and you're going to have more of a higher calorie dinner. But you don't want to skip your meals because when you skip your meals, you're more hungry, and that tends to overeating when you do have your meal. Okay. Uh, uh, tonight, when I go out to dinner, I'm going to have broiled halibut. I'm going to have great. mashed potatoes. Okay. Um, there's bread on the table. I mean, mm. you got to know it. Okay, there's <laughs> bread on the table, but it's olive oil. Let you dip it in. Okay. But um, limit how much of the bread you have if you're okay. going to have it. I'm going to have a salad. Okay. Ask uh, for your dressing on the side. Okay. And watch if there's any bacon or cheese on top. Okay. And kind of push it pick, aside. Yeah. So you're pick saying, and choose. So you're saying no Caesar salads. So is yeah, that a, is be that careful with that. Meal? Is that a healthy meal? Yeah, but but if you also can get like maybe a side of broccoli, steamed broccoli, or as asparagus. To, as opposed to potatoes. You can still get the potatoes, but then when we have that and we eat our protein, we eat our vegetables, we save our potatoes for last. We are less likely to consume the whole amount of potatoes. Okay. But when they get to mixing cheese in the potatoes. Oh, yes. Cheese and, and bacon and gravy, that is all just a lot more fat. So if you're going to have any, have it without those toppings on it. Okay. Well, that's an imaginary meal. Okay. But, but, that, <laughs> but I, I do really like fish broiled. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like it, whatever they do with it, you know, sauces and all that yes, kind of stuff yes. around it. So, mm -hmm. but, um, that's a fairly common meal if they have halibut. You know, not everybody has halibut or some seafood. Yes, or cod. Yeah. Salmon. Um, Salmon's a big one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Interesting. Yeah. Well, we're kind of short. Got a couple of minutes left here. Um, what can you tell us uh, for the rest of the holiday? The holiday is. Yes. So drink plenty of water to help prevent overconsumption of foods higher in fat, higher in calories. And if you're having any alcohol, drink water along with that as well. Okay. And if you're going to go to a party, do your best to have a meal ahead of time or have a snack ahead of time. That way you're not showing up and you're not just ravished and you're going to eat everything in sight. That's the best way to kind of But that hors d'oeuvre at dinner, you shouldn't have that. Do your best to not have as many appetizers. Go for ones that are more vegetable-based or take your own with you. I just saw something. It was amazing. It was salad on a skewer. So you take a skewer, you add, you pack the lettuce on there, you pack the the peppers, all the vegetables on there, and you can actually put a slice of cheese on there, and do a light drizzle of some light dressing, and you got salad on a stick. So if you don't think there's going to be vegetables, take that with you. Interesting. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, we enjoyed talking to you today. I enjoyed being okay. here. Thank you. Thanks to registered dietitian Serene Zarari Krasuna, coordinator of Mercy Weight Management for joining us today. We'd like to remind our listeners, if you suspect you have a medical issue, please contact your health care professional. Thanks to our sponsors, Mercy Medical Center, Studio Arts and Glass, and of course our technical producer, J.D. DeAngelis. As always, but that's not who's producing today, it's John Bazika. I'm sorry, I have a script in front of me, okay? <laughs> As always, thank our listeners for joining us on Health Matters at the Medicine Center Pharmacy. We are a local health mart pharmacy, caring for you and about you. Have a healthy week. We'll see you again right here News Talk 1480 WHBC on Friday.
Thank you for joining us for this edition of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, your pharmacists, Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now at MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. Be sure to join us next Friday at this time for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. The preceding program was sponsored by the Medicine Center Pharmacies.